Alright, uh, second round has started, and my opponent chose to play first. Something that I don't mind seeing. And so far, I've drawn a nested ball on the land, so I've got Pick Driller online as well as, as, well as Dross Ripper. Um, well, that doesn't deal poison damage yet. And next turn, it will die because it does not have protection from artifacts. Light Widow. Um, yeah, fine. I'm still going to pick Driller his three and Betrayers. Um, or should I? Yeah. I think that's the better play. <coughs> Can take a hit from his Blight Widow and then play my draw stripper or Nested Ghoul if I draw land. Okay. Uh, now I hope for a land. And I think that, yeah, Nested Ghoul should be the better play. See if he's got any follow up. Mm -hmm. Land. And a nest of ball. The worst thing that he could produce, I suppose, would be a. Uh, and, and equipment, but no equipment. Does it have any pump? No. Okay. I got the ball. Bang up. Here nice. Um, let's see here. I can. I'm just going to kill that. No counters. Mono green. No wonder. The trace doesn't seem all that weird. Mono green there. Let's put it up that now. That actually seems better. And I'm going to pay Strand Walker this time. I want to have one black open for my men if I draw, if I need to pay it. <coughs> Again, my opponent is getting low on. <laughs> well, that seemed like a waste of a card. Of course, I'm going to block. Um, that seemed like a really, really, really bad play on his part. Not sure what he what his attempt what what he attempted to do there. I mean, if it had something big in play, it could have been.
have been a good fight. It would, would have been good, but as it were, I had an on, an untapped creature in play. If he's got another one and a pump spell, what does that make? It's two. Uh, still, that was a bad play. In my opinion, that was a really bad play. <clears throat> so, I think that Vladimir and Ross Ripper leaving Crush open is the play here. Or maybe I should just leave. No. If he's got. If he draws uh, a swamp and he's got a removal spell, then it's just as likely to be a minus minus removal as anything else. He is playing his lands, though, so I, I know he's not saving anything in hand. I don't know why I attacked with the Vladimir, but for all he knows, I could have a smart plan. No blocks. That's two, that's six damage to him. Okay. No, no, it's a bad block. Okay. Uh, I was one off. Yeah, I think that he is dead. That was his black mana. He needs to both avoid getting hit by my equipped toxic men and kill the rest of my guys. Um, no crush target, no gremlin mine target. I think I'll just leave it as it is. My crush can at least target my Mikasin Wellspring if I need to. In that respect, the Gremlin Mine is worse. I must say that there's very little to, this, uh, to be had in terms of sideboarding options for this deck. I could add a Neuro Replica, even though it's off color, it's a big body to soak up damage. But that's it. Um, this seems like a more than fine starting man. We just play first again. Listener Elf. That is a reason to play first all the time. I'll be taking two hits from that, I think. Because I do want to have my near survive if possible. Uh, what to do if it doesn't survive? I know it's not much I can do, but I take another two here. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Sorry, acidic implant. Uh, I'll just have to hope to survive another couple of turns. Maybe I should do like this. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. That way I get rid of his flight mamba, I buy myself a turn, and <coughs> I take only one damage. Come on, land. Um, well, I guess I'll have to jump with the replica because I do <laughs> need Vladimir alive. Any land would be good. No land is worse than any land. Mm, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what to do here. Uh, it's, it's really looking awkward. Especially if he starts dropping contagious mints here. Maybe no, that's not. As bad, I suppose. Um, I think that the case. If I said the game plan this turn, next turn, I could have Necrotic Ooze, hopefully with Regeneration of Light Mamba. Fine biker. I might have to artillerize that. Right away. Um, yeah, I think I have to. Uh, otherwise, it would be a uh, major dent in my life total having him <coughs> deal three infect to my face. I did have an asper aspirating sickness but I think that I am going to use that later on. Right, so I've got five um, that will see that's very sickness. It still has all these drops, even though I've handled five of his creatures. Got five cards in here. So we are basically at even, even standings, but he's got a little bit better. Oh, that's a bad one. A really bad one. <laughs> Let's see what he chose, chose to do. I think he's going to get his flesh eater. But you never know. Eater. Mm, the only good part is that it doesn't hit play until next turn. <laughs> and like a pro, let's see here. Um, I do think that I want my soul legion play first.
doesn't die to his entombment. Deserves a violent welcome. So, will you take another three? Seems like he's going to. And I'm going to a live insert here because I want to play a slime walker. <coughs> you might have at least a spawn here. Yeah, at least a spawn. And he's on four light with him. Okay. Well, I'm going to come at you with my castle and soul each other. Nonetheless. Do I care? I think I do. Okay. So, do I play Necrotic Boots? Yeah. Seems like a creature with a bunch of nice effects is going to be good here. Especially since he doesn't have any infect infectious creatures in play just yet. <coughs> I've actually got him dead with this next turn, if he doesn't block. Whisper Inspector. Okay. If that's the only one, I'm happy. Why would it be bad if that game infects? But I don't think that it will do anything more than stand in the way of my Necrotic so. I play make a sense of wellspring. Okay. Uh, fetching swarm, I suppose.
I don't mind that. Go ahead. He's got enough to play the... Let's see here. Oh, that is a good thing for him to go. Um, so that's three here. It only needs two. That was a good one for him. Um, let's see. What can I do? If I. He will only need to pay 3 lights, 6 lights here. Well. I'll have him do it either way. And now I know that there's more targets for the. At least two targets for the gambling line. Triumph of the Force. Well. Not much I can do about that. It would be so nice to have first strike here. I can't even equip this in some way, can I? Instant speed equip would have been nice, but yeah. Bunch of damage to us. Um, rather the forces, no. I'm just going to go with the women mine and hopefully he's not going to kill me with a. <coughs> triumph over the horse this time. The only thing other I could think of is adding Hexplate Golem because it's a big body. And that might actually be a better choice. Having something big and brutal that stands in the way of all his attacks. I'm not going to play first this time either. Um, it's a slow hand. Shat is most likely going to be dead against him, apart from emulating the Soul Eater and uh, uh, This isn't as exciting as the other last time. Far from it. Um, I'm going to take the Morgan here. I don't think that I can afford if I If I miss out on two land drops, then I'm dead. Basically, this is not best because I only need one land. Race is fine. Might just uh, might be a really good thing to have against him. Let's just hope that I draw a land. Well, that's, good. Yeah, that's fine. Good. 
lines in price. Now let's draw a couple more of those. <laughs> this green shape. That's a good one. A really good one. Um, I still need a few. Let's see if this card is insatiable. So we can. That's not very good. I would prefer having a another violent wound for it, but insatiable soul eater by itself isn't much of a problem. None of those creatures are. If it's not Triumph of the Horse, then we might be in a bit of trouble. But so be it. He needs to kill my race is fine as well. Kill nice. us. Big guy. Big, big guy. That's going to die to spread the sickness, I think. See here. Yeah. Spread the sickness. Let's just hope that it doesn't find anything extremely good. Spine biker, um, that's a good one. That was a good one for him. So now we know his whole hand, at least. Um, Oh, this time it's a soul eater. Um, no, it's a strandwalker. Because the strandwalker can do things that the soul eater cannot. I.e., getting sacrificed to artillerize without uh, caring about it too much. Go and soul eater, yes, as expected. <coughs> so he's got spine biter and something else at hand. Um, If he's got that, then it's three, six, ten travel damage to us. Killing uh, that. Killing, blocking. Blocking this, blocking that. I really want to have another land. Um, I 
if it's got triumph of the horse, then I am almost, then I am basically dead, uh, whatever I do. So I'm just going to pay out this first and hope that I survive next turn. Uh, three, seven, eight, three, six, nine. Nine. Uh, Nineteen. So the best I can do is I'm built two, five, nine, eleven. Ah, uh, so it seems like we die here. We could we could have played around it by choosing to leave open mana for for shatter and artillerize. That way we could have dealt with both the mutilating soul eater and the insatiable soul eater. But I felt that him having it was uh, less chance than the, the alternative. This time he did have it though. So what can we do? Can we do anything else but this? I don't think we can. Um, two. Plus three, plus three, plus three. Plus three. Plus The alternative being this, but then he just pumps his guy as many times as he needs to. Uh, yeah. 
Let's do this because then he has to actually do something. I.e. use this soul eater some more. Yeah, one land and I'd have been able to see if he's killing it. So. Uh, untamed might and try and love the horns. Um, well, as I said, shatter and artillerize. Such an artillery rice would have been winners, but as it were, I didn't get them. And this deck is good. That's some questionable cards like that betrays. I don't like that card and Soul Eater, but he's got both. He's got two Triumph of the Horse. That's enough to make him play. 